What is up everybody? So today I wanna to talk with you guys about one of the main questions I get asked in this hobby, doing aquarium service, is what fish should I put in my tank? You know, what do you suggest? Anytime somebody comes into the store, they're always asking me, well, what do you suggest? What do you think will work well in a reef tank setting? So because I say it so often, I decided I might as well make a couple of YouTube videos about my favorite fish that I think work well in reef aquariums and just my personal uh, favorites that I usually tell customers that come in here. Now the requirements usually are, you know, obviously people get saltwater aquariums because they want very bright, vibrant, colorful fish. So let's let's put that in. They gotta be colorful, they gotta be vibrant. And they gotta be easy to take care of. A lot of customers don't have a lot of time. They're working, I sympathize with that. So it's gotta be a fish that's easy enough to take care of. And finally, because I'm someone who does take care of fish and I do aquarium service and I'm here at the shop and we quarantine fish here, I wanna make sure that the fish is going to be able to not just live, but thrive in the aquarium that it's gonna be put into. So I don't want a fish that's gonna get uh, eventually outgrow an aquarium. I don't want a fish that's gonna be stressed out in an aquarium. Its behavior is gonna be off. I want to find fish that exhibit natural behavior in the tank like they would in the wild. With all that said, the video today will be about the liar tail antheus, one of my personal favorite fish in the reef hobby. I love this fish so much they are amazing there's a lot of cool things about them that i'm gonna share with you guys today but let's go ahead right now i have a couple in quarantine and uh let's go ahead and take a look at them so here we are these are my buddies that we have in quarantine right now these are the liar tail antheus that i'm so excited about now just take a look at these uh beautiful fish that bright orange with the yellow finnage these are all juveniles. These are all, uh, I guess what you would call females at the moment right now. And we got them in quarantine. We have them under copper medication. That will be a copper medication for a total of four weeks. We are also giving them Metro and I'm just gonna give them a little squirt of brine here to, so we can see them a little bit better come out. They're a little bit shy, but we have a bunch of them in here and they are active and I'm so happy to see them eating well. That's one of the more important things when you guys uh, go to uh, any type of antheus uh, that you're gonna buy at the store, at the fish store. Make sure that they're aggressive eaters, um, you know, healthy skin, no blotches, no discolorations, uh, very active. And then, you know, don't hesitate to ask the fish store about what type of medications that, uh, or protocols that they go as far as um, treating their fish. Um, like I said, we have ours in four weeks, uh, two weeks in copper, and then another two weeks of observation, and we do other medications as well. Now I know that antheas have a bad reputation. People say they're very hard to take care of, they're fragile and all this other stuff, but not the liar tails and not the other antheas I'll be doing a video on, the um, disbard. Both of these two fish are not delicate fish and if anything, they're actually pretty um, durable. From my experience, they do really well. They eat about anything. They're, they're actually a pretty hardy fish. Now one thing I will say is it's very, very important to find a quality fish store, again, like I said, that you trust and you go through their quarantine process and their, their medication process because these fish are known for getting uranema. What is uranema? Uranema is basically a ciliate, a parasite that is commonly found on social fish, fish that like Antheus right here that kind of swim, they're out and about and they're social together. They come in contact with each other so that's how this uh, parasite spreads very easily. And trust me when I tell you, uranema is no joke. And it's something that's in your aquarium and it's like near impossible to get rid of. I've been working at a fish store for quite some time and I usually notice uranema on either chromis or antheus, like I said, because they are social fish. And usually when the fish gets it, it's really hard to, for them to survive. The survival rate on that is very low. So uranema looks like almost bruising on the fish. Um, and like I said, usually when the fish has it, it's, it's pretty much a wrap from there. That's why as soon as Antheus and Chromis come into our shop, I get them right into quarantine. I do not delay. I get them into their medication as soon as possible to just nip anything in the butt uh, as soon as I can. Here's a closer look at one that I have in a bag that I'm going to take to a customer's house today. And you can get a better color. Uh, you can see a little bit better the color in this, uh, on this fish. The bright orange, it's got a little pink on the sides, the purple, almost like mascara on its eyes. And this little juvenile is ready for its new home. So now we are at a customer's house and this is, I think this is about a 150 gallon aquarium. 
So that big uh, one right there is a male, and then I, we have a couple other ones. I think there's a total of four in this aquarium. There's three of the juveniles, and <laughs> look at that big old fat boy, hot, fit, long hook nose hawkfish. <laughs> um, so there's a total of four of them in here. So we had one in here a little bit longer. That's the biggest one, that's the male. Then we have the three little ones right here. These are the uh, juvenile females. Um, they kind of have a pecking order, kind of like clownfish do. The dominant one, uh, except with, unlike clownfish, the dominant one becomes the male and the um, other ones stay female. And this is our male right here. Uh, it's changing right now, definitely the most dominant of the uh, four antheas. And I'm expecting within the next couple, probably six months or so, we'll start to see him really color up. We'll start to see a change in um, its colors, maybe a more purple uh, color and also longer finish uh, on him as well. So this one right here is definitely a lot bigger than the other three. and. I can start to see almost a slight change in how it's it's starting to look and behave. Um, definitely becoming more aggressive. It's kind of important when you're dealing with the Antheus, you know, maybe just start with one, let that one get established, let him become the, uh, you can see right there, you see that the aggression I'm talking about. That's why it's so important to have, uh, you know, I say a total of four because if there's just two in here, the dominant one's just gonna beat up the second one until the second one will eventually die. So you need to spread that aggression. To avoid any issues now I would say with them you probably need about a at least at least a hundred gallon tank and uh, maybe even a little bit bigger depending how many you get but a hundred gallons they're they're not they're out all the time they're not active swimmers they're not like tanks or anything they are out all the time and it's kind of cool because a lot of people you get reef tanks and a lot of fish like to hide and stay hidden. These guys do not like to, to hide. If there's a good amount of them in there and they feel comfortable, they really do like to be out in the open and, and swim about, which is nice. And with that color and movement, it really sets your reef tank apart. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave you with this. Just make sure that you get any fish that you buy, that you buy it from a reputable fish store. Ask about their quarantine process, ask about their medication process, especially with fish like Antheus you gotta make sure that you find the healthy one because they usually come in with a lot of issues. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.